Prime Minister James Marpe, the guest speaker at the People's Party Gala Dinner last night. This is the Prime Minister's first public appearance since Friday's shocking move by government MPs in Parliament. Four members who are out of town from the event that took place yesterday were coming back in and we welcome them back. The People's Party remaining loyal to Pango Party and boasting a government coalition that maintains stability. The current Prime Minister, the Honourable James Marabe, has said my support. He's still a young man from my area, the Hela tribe. So, uh, you know, I've got a succession plan for the future. But one cannot ignore the fact that People's Party founding member, current Attorney General and also a former Deputy Prime Minister, David Stephen, was not in attendance as he had joined the opposition camp on Friday. Uh, we still is uh, a foundation member of the People's Party. Uh, he is not resigned from People's Party. He has moved uh, out of government with the uh, other uh, ministers of government to the opposition. So uh, um, it's for him to, uh, you know, decide. But you know, as a foundation member, he's still very much part of the organization. In now what has turned out to be a political party nightmare as most party leaders are with opposition leaving behind one or two MPs in government. Prime Minister James Marip's speech appealing to minority parties to respect party institutions and be a part of the coalition. Individual freedom of members of parliament. They're elected by the people to make, uh, make choice in as far as where they sit in parliament, who they associate with. Uh, at the moment I'm comfortable, you know, we got four weeks. Four weeks is a lifetime. In politics, uh, things just change and on the floor of parliament things change like what happened on Friday. But Prime Minister's appeal to have strong minority political parties comes a month after he had done a minor reshuffle that saw him decommissioned a number of ministers from smaller parties that included People's Party, People's Progress Party and Triumph Heritage Party. Now the PM having to deal with a cabinet change because a number of ministers have abandoned their portfolios, including the recently appointed Deputy Prime Minister and ULP party leader Sam Basil. Uh, Prime Minister, uh, not Deputy Prime Minister uh, at the moment announced as yet, but uh, I haven't fully decommissioned uh, the Honourable Sam Basil yet. Out of respect for him anyway, you know, he's, a, he's a good man, great man, he decided to uh, he was caught off, uh, off, off, off guard and he was surprised on Friday. He told me his, me his members moved and he joined his members. I give him all the respect. And, uh, you know, when, whenever I feel that I need to uh, move on in life, then decisions will be taken appropriately. Finance Minister Rainbow Paita admitting that the Pango Party may have played the cards wrong in the recent reshuffle. Got our members together, um, coalition partners, and we're making amends and looking at how we can. Uh, manage our numbers going forward. So I think this has certainly um, shown us a picture of what kind of leaders we're dealing with, what kind of uh, party leaders we're dealing with, and the nature of members to choose the kind of uh, placing they want to take in parliament. While major political parties like Pangu, National Alliance, PNC, ULP also have cracks in their parties, they all know too well to form government, the numbers will come down to one vote as the minority parties will have a greater say on who leads PNG into 2022 national general elections. Adelaide Sirox Kari National, MTV News.